Yeah, All right, thank you to so Tiana. I love Tiana Taylor. If you have not listened to her last album, please do so. And um, I have like my favorite songs by her on my playlist. I believe the uh, playlist is called Feel Amore. You can find that playlist on my Instagram highlights underneath music. But check out that playlist, and I'll also have the links in the description bar. But thank you guys so much for watching another week's episode of The Amore Code. And uh, yeah, The Amore Code is for those who want more and more in their life. And if you know someone that needs more and more in their life, please share this podcast with them. Okay, so before we get started, uh, as you see the title, the title is Non-Traditional Women want require traditional men and how i got that title was based off a phone conversation i had recently a three hour phone conversation at minimum three hour phone conversation from a friend a male friend basically reading me reading me for three hours on his views his perspective on what I said last week on my stance of boyfriend girlfriend relationships and how I don't believe that they exist basically to sum it up he said what I what the title of this video is is that non-traditional women require traditional men and he just basically shared his opinion on how he feels that's unfair uh, the conditioning of this generation and how views and ideologies are kind of much so screwed up. So that's what this episode is going to be about. Uh, some notes that I got from that conversation. And uh, if you're watching, I'm pretty sure he'll correct me um, if I misquoted him or not. I really tried to get him to call in and to the podcast, but he didn't do it. So it's whatever. Um, I'm just going to share what I got from that conversation and share it with the men and women here. Um, please, if you have an opinion, men and women, on what is going to be shared during this podcast about um, non-traditional women requiring traditional men, please call in to the Amora Code podcast. I really want to hear your opinions and uh, your thoughts. Uh, the link will be in the description box. Please like this video. When you like this video, it does something for the algorithm that it gets this out there to other people that want more and more in their life. And then also subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications. Um, before we get into the meat and the potatoes, you know that this podcast is brought to you by Skin Seeds. Skin Seeds is my skincare line. Okay, here we go. This is the cream of the crop body butter. It's a body and face moisturizer. It's the only thing that I use. I used to do all those serums and everything like that. I condensed it all into what I needed for my skin to stay moisturized, hydrated, and mindfully so into the glow. So please check out Skin Seeds. Skin Seeds, the link will be down in the description box and follow uh, Skin Seeds on Instagram. And then another uh, product that I want to share is the Laray Co. Loray and Co. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I love candles, you guys. I love candles. I have this candle right here. And they were so kind to send me a candle. So I'm opening it here, right here in front of you guys. I got to choose one. They have one like relax, meditate. Um, you know, they have different themes of their candles. And the one I chose was Dream. And dream is a black currant and jasmine. And the reason why I chose this one is because I love to dream. And jasmine. Jasmine is just such a feminine um, fragrance that I love to surround myself. I like to use jasmine oils. Jasmine oils are in this uh, skin seeds body butter for your body. And it's just a very sensual smell. So that's why I chose this. Let's see what that smells like. Mm, it smells so sweet. It smells really good, sumptuous. So it says, thou shalt pamper thyself. And a good candle and a bath with a glass of wine is pampering. So it's handcrafted in Atlanta. It has um, it's natural coconut wa wax. 
and um i'm just gonna read the description on the candle it says here at loray and co we hand pour all of our candles with premium natural coconut wax our candles are scented with a refreshing blend of high quality fragrance oils and which will make a perfect addition to any self-care regimen so this is a great partner with your skin seeds when you purchase your skin seeds to lotion up your body or also to um do a face mask Right now, I've been detoxing my skin. I have been so like all over the place with my skin. And um, I have like made, I wrote down like a plan, like how I'm going to stay consistent because I bartend on the weekends. And like doing that, I'm just like, okay, I get, I get home pretty late and I take my makeup off, but I feel like I could do a lot more. So I've recorrected that and I... I'm now masking with my Cultivation Clay Mask. I've been doing it every day for this week. I'm just doing like a little detox and it's really pulling things out. Like I got pimples going on. My skin is like, what is going on? But I have to get it together. So I've been just doing that, using my double cleanser and then moisturizing with my skin seeds, cream of the crop. Okay, so now that I got that um, shared with you guys, all of that information, let's get into this conversation, okay? child okay so to give you some context without telling on my business basically i posted last week on my instagram an excerpt of last week's episode i may put it here okay so i posted that and i received good feedback some dms but what stood out the most was the dm that led to a phone, a three hour phone conversation of this young guy's, um, is that a glare? Of this guy's um, opinion on my thoughts of boyfriend and girlfriend. So, from what I could remember, I wrote down some things. To sum it up all up, he basically said non traditional women want traditional men before they even before we even become married uh he stated he's i like loosely quote him but he stated that like um women expect men to give them everything to show and prove that they are the man to marry and uh for us to become their wife but during the meantime in between time because we are not married, we are still deemed as single. Okay, so within my statement last week of Mike, uh, like me saying, um, oh, I am single until married, he basically told me, even though I said I don't feel like I'm for the streets, that statement basically told men that I am for the streets. And for the streets is like not committing to one guy, not giving yourself away to one guy. That's my understanding. I'm just like, okay, hmm. that's how you feel. And he's like, you want, me, women expect men to give all their resources, um, all their resources, give them money, pay their bills, um, just for them to feel like, okay, he's doing something. But what if at the end of the day that the woman doesn't even want the man? Does the woman even have any concern of how that man is going to take care of his future family? Like it's just a take, 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 take type of thing. Now, with that being said, we want men to be traditional while not being a traditional woman. But, you know, it's like this thing of he also in the conversation. It's a lot of people of trying to avoid pain, trying to mitigate risks at any means necessary. Nobody wants to go through pain, but love requires a little bit of pain. Right. So with women's experience. I can only speak from my perspective. Like, please call in. I am not the expert. I don't know everything. Okay. So this is a more code. It's about conversation and differences of opinion. But why give yourself completely to a man for a man to not appreciate it, take advantage of it? Um, love it at the beginning and then become bored. 
there has to be a reason why majority of women women do that because one it's within our nature and then two it's because we probably experience giving our all doing what we can do to show we're traditional but then still being taken advantage of okay and then he rebuttaled and then he was like, well, this is why men go for younger women that hasn't been scorned, that hasn't been done that way. And okay. Okay. I don't, you know, I don't know what to say. And I'm not going to say that younger women are um, naive. I mean, they don't have as much life experience, and which is why the life experience is probably synonymous as to why he says scorned. But I mean, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. I can't control that. All I can control is myself and how I approach situations. So (sighs) he mentioned about how my stance on boyfriend and girlfriend and how that doesn't exist is going to lead me to a life of singleness for the rest of my life. (laughs) And I recanted and told him if I wanted a boyfriend tomorrow, I can have that. um i can is it the guy that i really really want he rebuttaled and i'm just like uh it's like this war between between men and and women why does it have to be that way wow anyway though uh he mentioned i was like okay so boyfriend girlfriend Um, I'm saying that I'm basically for the streets. If I don't believe in boyfriend, girlfriend, he said that it is a requirement to have that stage in your relationship to know if, whether or not you want to commit with one another. Yes, I do agree, but I still stand on what I said last week. I said that a lot of relationships are contingent upon lack of emotional intelligence and relying on codependency from the presence of another person. I still totally believe that. Now, if I were to find somebody, or not even find, I don't have to find. Um, if I were to be with somebody, um, I still understand that I'm not gonna be completely, I can be as whole as I can possibly be, right? And I can understand that within the getting getting to know another person, it's going to teach me, and like teach me okay where i'm lacking at where i where i excel at but um to get i'm not in a rush i'm not in a rush to get there i'm not in a rush to get there i want it but like i refuse to just settle so low i i said the word settle oh my goodness why did i say that Basically, he was like, women, they, we want everything. We want everything. And men require so little. And the requirements that he said is that basically he wants the woman to be beautiful so he can have sex with her. <laughs> and that's just, it is what it is. He wants sex and beauty. He doesn't want any nagging. And the woman must be pleasant to be around. And he wants to eat. <laughs> women need, a woman needs to cook. Now, does that sound like I don't believe in feminist, the feminist movement, but I am aware of it. And if I, I feel like if I would, were to say that to certain women that are a part of that movement, they would find that barbaric. But it's within their nature. But at the same time, what as a woman, what I want, I stated I want I wanted honesty, integrity, stability protection that's within my nature so for me to want to be with you i want you to show me that of course i'm not going to give myself to you fully if i don't feel like you have integrity or honesty of course i'm not gonna want to have your babies if i don't feel like you're going to be stable and you're going to be able to protect me so then that's where my stance comes back on to boyfriend and girlfriend situations like that's how people will end up as baby mothers and I have nothing like you know people live their lives and things happen 
But um, that's how that happens. It really is. That's how that happens. So if I'm seeing this going on around me, of course, I'm going to strategize and move accordingly to such. I'm not going to be with a person that I don't feel like they can give me those things. That I don't feel like they can give me what I want. <laughs> okay? I feel like I've done a lot of rambling in here trying to uh, summarize this conversation. I really wish he would have called in. But um, this guy basically said that he wanted to help me out and correct me so that I don't end up being played or single out here. So I listened, but still at the same time, I have my own mind and I'll take it as I want to take it. Ugh. If this made any sense to anybody, please call in. If you have any opinions or points that of like what I said here, I it was so much. But basically, he is saying like who we look up to, who we listen to, they're non-traditional women. And basically, we expect traditional behavior while being non-traditional. And I guess the traditional is what he's saying is commitment, commitment before the commitment. Okay. I can see that. Because once you begin, once you become married and you didn't have to be traditional to get married, is it automatically going to kick in that you're now going to be traditional once you're married? You could say yes, but then old habits die hard. You have to live it. You have to, it has to be within your being to really be in that realm. Because like, if you want a certain type of man um, that's masculine, they're going to call you out, okay? And I feel like the men that I've been with in my life have all, all <laughs> been very masculine. Um, they're going to call you out and they're going to hold you to your word and you have to hold them to their word too. So yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we got into the subject of polyamory too. I asked you guys on you on my YouTube, like feed community feed. How do you guys feel about polyamory? And of course the man is all for it. If the woman wants another woman, but when it comes to another man, they don't want it. We'll talk about that later. You guys can call in about that. But yeah, that was, uh, that's today's episode for The Amor Code. Thank you so much for watching. Please call in. The link is in the bio to leave a voicemail on your thoughts about non-traditional women, women requiring that men be traditional while dating. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.